Although we use iodinated contrast for doing peripheral angiograms, in several locations we are unable to do so and carbon dioxide DSA is the best alternative when iodinated can contrast cannot be used. Uh, the problem is that uh, um, in India money is still an issue with treatment and the technology that's available in the developing countries often are very very expensive and uh, so we have a problem of a technology that's available but is not applicable or practical for many many poor people in the subcontinent so here we describe a technique that is simple, that is cheap, that is effective which we have been using for hundreds of patients over the last several years. Carbon dioxide the safest contrast available because obviously if you are allergic to cause carbon dioxide we won't be alive. It's also the cheapest contrast available. It is the agent of choice for diabetes with impaired renal function, with cardiac dysfunction and no anaphylaxis. Uh, is ever seen or heard. But what's the problem of carbon dioxide? It's a gas and it can be compressed. It comes in a cylinder under high pressure. It is colorless and volumes will vary under pressure. Now gas in the syringe can be compressed so, and when it's released through the catheter it can produce rapid expansion. Rapid expansion leads to an effect called the explosion effect which can be painful, can cause dissection of the vessel. Because it's colorless, we can have contamination of the air. So thus, if we want to use it in the intravascular space, we have to first reduce this huge pressure in the cylinder to a pressure which is close to normal atmospheric pressure. We need a closed circuit, we need a digital subtraction system. Well, everything is commercially available, but the problem is very expensive and they require very specialized cylinders to load the carbon dioxide gas. This is a simple device we developed. There is a carbon dioxide cylinder which is connected to a blood bag which acts as a reservoir. From the blood bag there is another tube which is an outlet tube which is connected to a three-way and the three-way is again connected to a diagnostic catheter. So we are sprayed through the three-way and then turn the three-way around and inject into the catheter and do the angiograms. So this is how it really looks. You've got a cylinder and you can see two tubes running up into the bag that's full of carbon dioxide gas. This is the blood bag. It's uh, better demonstrated in this view. This is a syringe and a three-way that is connected to it. And you can see the aspiration that has to be done. And turn around the stopcock and inject into the catheter. This is a carbon dioxide angiography on one side and a contrast uh, and a picture without subtraction showing that without subtraction you cannot see the gas and you cannot give any diagnosis. Now if you want to take a study for vessels which are occluded at the popliteal, the picture may not look good but the angiography shows finally the same thing except it is better delineated but the management does not change at all. Here is a patient who has a uh, suspected renal artery stenosis and this is the carbon dioxide angel showing both normal renal arteries this is without subtraction where you cannot pick up anything at all and this is a patient who had a stenting done of the infrarenal outer and you can see the whole procedure has been done with CO2 this is a transplant kidney where the uh, nephrologist wanted us to rule out renal artery stenosis and you can see the angiogram that is performed with carbon dioxide gas. This was the first case. It shows a short occlusion in the superficial femoral artery. This is with the balloon across and the result after angioplasty and stenting. So the whole procedure could be done safely without any risk to the patient. The patient had a history of anaphylaxis to contrast. Here is a patient the stenosis and tibioperoneal trunk, carbon dioxide angiography, before and after balloon angioplasty. There is a patient with multiple iliac stenosis. End result after angioplasty procedure was done again with carbon dioxide gas. Here is a patient who is again got a stenosis in the outer. There is a patient with total occlusion in the iliac artery before and after stenting. There is a patient with a stenosis in the iliac and stenosis in the SFA CO2 angiography. 
is after the stenting and post angioplasty of the femoral artery. So basically what we are telling is carbon angiography with the simple circuit is a cost effective alternative to expensive contrast agents. And uh, we have to think about adapting technology that's available ab abroad in a way that it can reach out and touch many many people who need these forms of 